Welcome back, space enthusiasts. In today's captivating episode, we dive into the exciting plans of NASA as they set their sights on a remarkable endeavor. NASA's Artemis program is set to send the first group of astronauts to the moon no earlier than 2025. From there, the space agency wants to establish a sustainable presence on the moon, sending a crew of astronauts to the lunar surface on a regular basis, and establishing the Lunar Gateway as an orbiting outpost to support the ongoing missions. After more than 50 years, NASA's pending return to the moon could encompass more than just leaving footprints on its surface, as it could entail efforts to mine the moon for resources, an initiative that could start early next decade. As humanity continues to push the boundaries of space exploration, the idea of mining the moon has gained significant attention. With its vast resources and potential commercial applications, lunar mining holds the key to establishing a sustainable presence on the lunar surface and fueling future space missions. The moon is believed to be a treasure trove of valuable resources. One of the most promising resources is water ice, which has been detected in permanently shadowed craters at the lunar poles. This water can be used not only for sustaining astronauts' needs, but also as a source of hydrogen and oxygen for fuel and life support systems. Additionally, the moon is rich in helium-3, an isotope that could potentially be used as a fuel source for nuclear fusion, offering clean and abundant energy if practical fusion reactors can be developed. NASA wants to send a drill rig to the moon next month and then establish large-scale lunar regolith mining by 2032, using a pilot processing plant to potentially extract resources such as water, iron, and rare metals. The potential commercial applications of lunar mining are vast. Water extracted from the moon could supply future lunar bases, reducing the need for costly resupply missions from Earth. Moreover, the moon's resources could be used for constructing habitats and infrastructure, manufacturing materials for space exploration, and even serving as a refueling station for spacecraft. The economic viability of lunar mining depends on advancements in technology, the cost of transportation, and the development of markets for the extracted resources. Mining on the moon poses numerous technological and logistical challenges. The harsh lunar environment, including extreme temperatures, vacuum, and abrasive lunar regolith, requires specialized equipment and machinery. Furthermore, transportation logistics, such as launching mining equipment from Earth and returning mined resources, necessitate efficient and cost-effective solutions. Advances in robotics, 3D printing, and in-situ resource utilization ISRU, will play pivotal roles in overcoming these challenges. Lunar mining represents an exciting frontier in space exploration and resource utilization. While significant challenges exist, the prospects for extracting valuable resources from the moon are promising. Advancements in technology, ongoing space missions, and increasing collaboration between governments and private companies bring us closer to a future where lunar mining could become a reality. As humanity sets its sights on the moon, unlocking its resource wealth may be the key to expanding our presence in space and shaping a brighter future for all. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with others.